Welcome back. We are here on Ethereum looking at the, uh, the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, February 11th, 2021. So we'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, we did break the 50 moving average and then rallied. And now we're just at the 50 moving average at 9039. Technical indicators for the US dollar index are looking dreadful at this point. So we may break the 50 moving average and head all the way down to the bottom here at 89.86. So when we get there, this will most likely rally. If the, uh, the 50 moving average is resistant, when we rally back, it could be a sign that we'll go even lower. But this has had quite an implication for for commodities and precious metals and and so on so let's look at the oil market so as you can see we are starting to run into resistance here we rallied up towards 58.68 and now it looks like we are about ready to go back towards 55 Give, take, give or take that's most likely where we're going before we go to uh, to 60. if we manage to rally to 60 there is going to be a massive amount of selling occurring and that will basically be a very parabolical move to the downside so at this moment i do favor a pullback towards 55 before we rally to 60. technical indicators are becoming more flat and more uh, more bearish so and we are also way outside of the bullish band here. We're just, just ended inside of the bullish band today, but otherwise we have been outside for a very long time. Well, actually, um, we actually haven't seen this kind of, of bullishness in this market for, well, technically for a really, really long time. So, so yes, a uh, pullback could happen at any point. So let's look at natural gas. So as you can see, we have rallied quite substantially today. We were up roughly 3%. We're trading at the 2.933. Um, 3 is still going to be quite resistant. So if we rally up towards 3, it most likely will really be rejected and will fall back towards the 20 exponential. Um, however, if weather conditions still continue uh, to be very, very cold and... Uh, demand is going to increase then that will basically pressure this about three and probably all the way up to 3.5 technical indicators for natural gas are looking fairly promising but we need to get past the three before we go higher from here so let's look at copper so copper has done an amazing run uh, today we went all the way up towards the 3.78 we're getting close to 3.8 uh, we fell back and now we're very uh, well very likely that will fall uh, fall from here we're way outside of the bullish band we're on the edge of being overbought and technical indicators like the stochastic here are turning around so pull back from uh, from here towards the 20 exponential that is going to be a major buying opportunity at 3.6 and target is 3.8 so let's look at gold so gold has rallied yet again today and we got really rejected here at the 250 moving average if we don't manage to break above the 50 we could fall back towards the bottom of the bullish band here at 1807 a fall below that opens the door to 70 50 to 70 and if those levels break then we can go all the way down to 1600 and probably down to 1500 so it's going to be interesting to see what basically happens with gold we are actually in a downtrend here we have been for a very long time ever since back in august uh, last year we have basically been trading downwards lower and lower and uh, if we don't manage to break above the the 50 moving average and then we are most likely going to go lower however if we manage to break above the 50 then we'll most likely go to 18 um, no 1900 950 and then 2000 so let's look at silver so as you can see we have broken down a, a bit it is just the same uh, we rally pull back towards the 50 or the 20 and then rally again back to the 50 and 20 so at this point 
50 and 20 moving average are fairly fairly um, reliable areas where you basically can buy this. It seems like we are go slowly going higher. We're trading at the 26.98 at this point. Target here is uh, for thirty dollars for for silver. If that breaks, then we are going to go much much higher. Technical indicators are kind of all over the place. You can see the CCI is negative, the RSI is negative, Sarcastic is flat, and the MACD is over the signal line, but it is also flat at this point. So pullback around um, 26.50 or 25.72, that is both buying opportunities. So let's look at Platinum. So yet again today, we have rallied here in Platinum, and at this point, it is almost a certainty that we'll fall from here. So we are way outside of the bullish band. We are significantly overbought, and uh, technical indicators are still very bullish, but moves like this, they never last. We have been rallying from 1073 all the way up towards 1247. And at this point, we will most likely fall back towards these previous highs of 11.46 before we go higher from here. So let's look at Pallium. So as you can see, we are still just doing more of the same. We are trading within this square for Pallium, the highs of 2.5, lows of 2.2. And uh, there are only two areas where you technically should trade this. It is basically at these lows where you can buy it or buy it or at these highs where you can sell. So we hit the 200 moving average or the, or this um, support level here. And uh, the target were, was first the 50 moving average. And you could also target the 2.5. At this point, we're trading above the 50 moving average. So... If we get another candlestick here, it is very likely that we'll go to 2.4 and then to 2.5. So let's look at aluminium. So as you can see, we have rallied up towards these previous highs and then we have given most of those gains back. So at this point, we may see aluminium pull back towards the 50 or the 20 exponential moving average before we go higher from here. Break below that opens the door to these previous lows here in 1952, but I don't think that we're going to go there. I think we're going to pull back ever slightly towards the 50 and then go higher. Technical indicators, they are fairly bullish. Uh, RSI, CCI are bullish. The Stochastic is flat at this point and the MACD is also bullish. So let's look at nickel. So we did rally eventually up towards 18,678 and then we fell back to these previous highs and stopped there. And that is a fairly bullish shine. So this area acted as support and if we manage to get another candlestick above this, we could probably go uh, significantly higher. Technical indicators are very bullish. However, a pullback towards the 20 exponential or roughly at 18 hundred that it would be a major opportunity in order to buy this so let's look at sugar so we did rally all the way up towards the 0 0.70 is 17 and then fell back to these previous highs at roughly uh, 0 0.1670 um, this is also uh, fairly bullish uh, we did not fall below these previous highs and so if we're going to get uh, another green candlestick here tomorrow, then we'll probably go above 0 0.70. Fall uh, below this towards the 20 exponential, that's an even buy better buying opportunity. Technical indicators are all fairly bullish at this point. So let's look at cotton. So as you can see, we have started to fall. Um, we did rally to, towards these very high zero, 0 0.86 and 98. We're trading at 0 0.8447 at this point, and we're most likely going to head towards these previous highs, which did, we did test today. If we break below them, we'll head towards the 20 exponential at 0 0.8177, and that is basically your entry point for this market. 
that probably will take a few days, maybe three to four days before we get to those levels. If we go there, if we might rally from here and take out these previous highs, then we are going much higher. So let's look at Cocoa. So we fell quite aggressively yesterday and today we have rallied yet again. We're just seeing more of the same. We have the highs, very highs here, resistant, and the very lows here, which will act as support. And then we have this square that we have been trading in for a very long time now. We can go all the way back here. So the 200 moving average, roughly 2.445. That is where the bottom is in this middle here. And the top is roughly around 2.615. So I haven't been trading this because I would rather trade it when it gets to the top or to the bottom in order to buy or to sell. To go back and forward here, it, yes, it is possible to... to um, to uh, to trade it here, but but it's fairly risky, very risky. If you fall below the 200 moving average, then we'll fall very drastically to the downside. If we break above the 50 moving average or its previous highs here, then we go very aggressively to the upside. So let's look at wheat. So this is looking very promising for a uh, trade tomorrow. As you can see, we have fallen towards the 50 moving average. We found support. We fell all the way down to 626, rallied above the 50 moving average. However, technically indicators for uh, we are still looking very dire. We can look at the four hour chart in order to see whether or not this is looking fairly better. It's still not very promising we're trading underneath the 250 and the, the 20 exponential we could rally up towards the 200 moving average and then fall back so we'll see um, but at some point tomorrow we'll most likely um, be able to enter this market when the target here will most likely be the very highs so we are it is expected for most commodities and also uh, most commodities to um, have a very really good year in 2021. So this trend that we have been seeing for the last few months, that is most likely something that is going to continue. And this is just going to go even higher and higher. So I hope you find this helpful. Uh, you're welcome to write to me on Patreon if you have any questions. Otherwise, good luck and thank you very much.